I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Come through. Folks, you're looking live, Cranston. Folks, you're watching live Cranston. Juan on the scene. Share that you are watching. We have a live situation here right off of Pontiac Avenue. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. We have a very active situation here in Cranston. You can see they have a house blocked off. We have the big guns out. I wanna show you, Pontiac is blocked off. Police fire, there's a rescue. And they are surrounding this house right off of Pontiac Avenue. You can see the sharpshooter right there. Folks, share that you are watching. It's Juan on the scene. This is a current situation. Thank you for the stars, folks. Get these people going right into it. Wow. Get these people going right into this store area. That's the whole thing. Look at that guy ignoring the fact there are police everywhere. Now, I want to repeat. This is Pontiac Avenue whole area is blocked off and we have a heavy police presence beyond that that's all we know that's what we know we're going to deal with what we know Look at that, there's someone, another person that is, look at this car going right into an active police scene. Look at this white car, should not be going there. Now they just stop there, look at this. Unbelievable, wow. Look at this guy in the white car. I think I'll just drive right over to where there's police with weapons. Do you believe this? There's Ann. Ann and Robin are here. Folks, again, we have a police action. Look at this guy in the white car. Maybe going into the restaurant. All right, this is the scene right now. 
151 Saturday afternoon, Pontiac Avenue, heavy police presence. Hear a lot of sirens in the background. And we hear more police, I believe, vehicles, yeah, arriving right now on the scene. You can see his Cranston police or more of them arriving. Now, one of the people that asked me to get back said, get back. He's got a rifle. Now, I don't know who he was referring to. We still have these different cars that are just driving around here. Uh, I sent Ian a message. If Ian, you could just confirm you got that. Okay. All right. Ian is going to pin our comment. Confirmed. Yeah. All right, this is Cranston. We have heavy police presence, Pontiac Avenue. We have this on Facebook Live right now. You can join us, John DePietro Show. Look at this guy driving right through, right through where it's a police, total blocked off police scene. Look at this guy doing this. No idea why. You're gonna park there? <laughs> Again, everybody, you're looking. This is one on the scene. We have an active scene, Pontiac Avenue. Look at these people that are just driving right through it. Heavy police presence, Pontiac Avenue, right near PJ Pub and Aldi. And you can watch this on our live stream on Facebook. Look at this woman parking right there. Thank you, Ann. lady now blocking me. Look at this fucking lady in the void car. Look at this lady.
this lady in the white car just sitting right there ignoring? Yeah, I know. Hey, do you see what's going on? What the fuck is wrong with you people? The shorts? Yeah. Okay. okay. And I'm right there. Oh, wait, I know I'm on a camera. I want to see you in the camera. Stand off, looks like somebody might be holed up in that high, but we don't know about the White House. Yeah, maybe it's in there. All right, folks, we, I am learning we have a barricaded individual with a rifle that could have been a shot fired. Again, I want to repeat barricaded. You guys are not with us, okay? Yeah. yeah. Understood? Yeah. Okay, so you got to talk to them because then I don't want them thinking you're with us. Right, folks again we have someone barricaded with a rifle possibly shot fired you're watching this is Pontiac Avenue Cranston and I want everyone to understand like sometimes these people just started standing up behind me and my friend from NBC 10 and I don't want the police to think they're with us they're not with us Yeah, but look at there's a guy in the car right here. I'm, I'm gonna move him. Just go over to the Are you really, are we really doing that? Hey, what about, hold on. What if, what if we just went right on that, right over there? You guys, you gotta go into the pocket. Can we go across? Okay. No, because no, we're, we're staged over there. If we have to gain access quickly, we need quick access. All right. Thank you, sir. Understood. Fuck. All right, folks, they're moving us. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck. I'm in the view of traffic. Okay, this isn't bad. They're moving us back. All right, folks, I want you to see, you can see where the whole area right here is blocked off. I wish I could find a spot that is, um, I think I can, I think I'm gonna move right over there. Cause I don't want all these cars coming back and forth. Hold on, hold on.
Okay, this is better. Well, at least we don't have all the friggin' traffic. Look at these people just ignoring. I mean, I was there with Channel 10, right? We're trying to shoot it. Unless I go... It is a little annoying with the cars keep coming by. I'm going to show you where we are on Pontiac. So it's right in the... Uh, well, there's Aldi parking. There's PJ's Pub. And they have, from what we understand, someone barricaded into the home right down there. Now it's my understanding it's someone with a rifle. Folks, again, just 203, you're looking live. Now I am tempted to go over there, back where I was. I mean, uh, across the street, but we can hear the radio from here. I'm gonna try to shut it down. They're gonna divert traffic from Pontiac. I think that's a good idea. And they need to shut down. Cranston police need to shut down this street. I want to show you where we are. You can't have all these cars coming back. I can't stand over there. There's too much freaking traffic. Hopefully they'll close it. This is where we are. Hold on. Folks, one on the scene, first on the scene. I'm gonna show you where we are. Right there. I'm at the blue dot, see PJ's Pub? There's the restaurant. So it's that street right over there. Uh, it's before Glen Road. That's where we are right now. Oh, okay. Original call, suicidal male with a gun said he was going to kill himself. Okay. Barricaded man with a gun, possibly a shotgun. Got to shut down this traffic. I don't need, no need. I can't call anybody. I don't need any information. They're trying to enter a residence. Okay. We gotta close off that street. I'm going to switch over.
All right, folks, we're going to go back over the street. So, so, so right now... All right, you're, folks, again, right now, she... The, Look at this motorcycle guy tries going right past the police. It's really amazing to watch. If you're watching right now and you like the uh, live stream coverage, share that you are watching. You can also type in someone's name that's on Facebook. That should alert them. It is tough with the traffic. Now, this is pretty good right here. No, it's a yard sale. Folks, remember, if you like our on-the-scene live stream, 398, you can send stars. That's your way of saying, I like this on-the-scene, raw, unfiltered live stream coverage. You're looking, this is Cranston, Rhode Island. You have an individual seemingly in a residence with a rifle barricaded in. So that would qualify as an armed standoff. Now, we have not had a statement from police. I'm hearing that from people that have been monitoring the situation. You see right there on the right, that's a police officer with a high powered weapon. And then you see the police right there. We're right in Pontiac, right on, this is Pontiac Avenue that is now closed off. can hear myself, someone behind me with the live stream. Again, this call started suicidal male. Could have been a shot fired, but definitely claims to have a high powered rifle. You're looking, this is our live stream coverage one on the scene. Thank you, everybody. I don't need a fucking better spot. stop this traffic all right let's just focus folks thank you for the stars on the saturday again if you like the on the scene live stream coverage that is your way of saying i like this unfiltered live now this is right off of pontiac avenue 
It's actually on Pontiac Avenue, excuse me. It was more traffic. Folks, again, you're watching. Thank you for the stars. We're what you're watching. Arm certainly seems a barricaded individual right off of, I believe it's a street right off of Pontiac Avenue. And you can see Cranston police have Pontiac Avenue blocked off. And then it seems to be focused right down there. All right, hold on, everybody. Let me get some different equipment. Hold on. Bear with me, everybody. Man, hold on, everybody. Hello. The park. Fucking idiot. Right over there. Hold on. 
Hold on, everybody. Oh, I see. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Don't worry, just adjusting. Okay. Okay. Okay, again, repeating, this is Cranston. We have someone barricaded. You see the officer right there, high powered weapon. And this seems to be the focal point right there. You can see this whole area is blocked off.
folks, remember, you can share that you are watching. This is Cranston. We have an armed standoff, barricaded individual. This is Pontiac Avenue is closed. I want to repeat and tell people, if you know someone in Cranston, type in their name. Pontiac Avenue is closed right near Aldi Supermarket. We have an armed standoff with a barricaded individual. Now, they're not telling us exactly which home, but one of the homes up there, someone is barricaded in there, we believe, with a rifle. So, we're going to get you more information. If you, um, especially if you know someone that either lives in Cranston or they're on Facebook, you can type in their name that should notify them. And again, this is one on the scene. This is Pontiac Avenue in Cranston where we have an armed standoff. If you are enjoying our live coverage, make sure you follow the page and you can uh, send stars to support our efforts. at this guy and they're not even seeing this guy that right now is just walking right up into the middle of it look at this look at this walking right in and no one is even stopping him unbelievable now look at that car just pulled in there look at this car just pulled in is blocking our view I don't know why the first responders are allowing this to happen. Look at this person is look at this person about to get out of the car. Look at this. They have us back here totally oblivious that there's someone there with a rifle and no one's even doing anything. Unbelievable. Oh, there he is. All right, hold on. Listen, I gotta get something out of my car. Just don't let this fall, okay? Don't let this fall.
No, but you, you gotta hold it to make sure it doesn't fall. Okay. Hold on, go ahead. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, they are? they would feel about that. Here we go. Oh, you think so? They had more from over now. Oh, wow. Could have been. Okay, yes. Thank you, Ann. Okay, oh yeah, good. Good thought, okay. It is. All right, I'm seeing everybody. That's exactly right, Ian. good pin. Can we get a, uh, a voice check? Everybody, uh, oh, okay. On audio. So, I switched audio devices, so, are you walking past? Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Emily. Okay, you can't stand there, okay? You can't stand there. No. Okay. Hey, walk behind me. Yeah. Well, the, listen, the, the police just want media here. You can go right over to the right. With the, see where that guy is right there? Right there. Yeah. What can I? Good. Thank you, Nancy Swanson. Folks, good. There's Alex Roy. Folks, here we go. Look at last night. Thank you, Lisa Main. Good. Thank you, Marianne. Look at these people driving. Look at this. What the fuck? Who's letting that? Look at this. They were chasing, chasing us out. Look at the person drive right up there behind the police with the rifle. Jesus Christ. Taking the Lord's name in vain. Look at this. Asking if the restaurant's open. No, I have no idea why they're not blocking that off. All right. Thank you, Kathy. 
Well, there's a pinned comment right at the bottom. Good job by Ann. Suicidal male barricaded himself. Possible firearm. Now, there may have been a shot fired. Now, folks, remember, if you are enjoying the live stream coverage, right now we're at 446. Here comes this guy again looking for his takeout order. Look at this coming right at us. Who is that? What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just me and Channel 10. Look at, they let this guy in the blue car go into the restaurant and block his vehicle right there. I don't understand this. I'm tempted to go into the restaurant and have him move it. That car was not here. See that car right there blocking our view? Watching from South Carolina. Folks, put where you're watching from. And again, right now we have almost 450 people watching live. Yep. If everyone right now sent 250 stars, which actually is 250, it'll help us towards our our April goal. I can't believe they allowed that guy to just park his car right there and go into the restaurant. That car was not here earlier. Somebody going for the buffet. Blackstone. There's Donna. Hi there, Donna. But you can hear sirens. Look at this person going to the car. Casual. at this guy and then I was saying anything they were chasing me the hell out of there all right now he's moving Vietnamese cuisine there's Amber Look at this guy ignoring it, running right into the scene. Guys! Look at this. Fucking A. Alright, here's police arriving. Oh, I don't know if they can get over. They can. Oh, just walking into the restaurant. Okay. Here we go. You can see how far the police go down the street. They're talking to him. They're talking to him. There's the Cranston Police Department. Come out with your hands up. They should have someone right there. I don't know why they don't. All right, let's see who that is arriving. Now, do you hear the uh, loudspeaker? Huh? They just said. They bring it in? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can hear them come out with your hands up. Here it is. Folks, you're watching Arm Standoff. One on the scene. Princeton police waving to Juan. They're using the loudspeaker now. Now, I heard them just mention a home on Pontiac Avenue, so you can see kind of where the police are around. If I zoom in, you can actually see them out of the... Folks, remember, if you know someone in Cranston, type in their name. You can share that you are watching. We have an armed standoff, Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. 
where you have a male. Oh, we can see some action. We have a barricaded, a male barricaded with a rifle. We may be on the move. All right, this is just press. Um, the, the media, this is just media, okay? I'm sorry, sir, you're not supposed to be standing here. Thank you, Robin. Yes, Pontiac Avenue. We have an armed standoff in Cranston. Folks, 483 as we get closer to 500. No. They're telling him to put down the gun. Thank you for all, yes, thank you, Winter. Thank you, all the stars, everybody. Let's get it up to 500. Again, if you do like the live, on the scene live stream coverage, everybody send stars 200, 250, 500 will help us towards our April goal. You can also uh, type in where you're watching from on the Saturday afternoon. It's 2.41. You're looking live. This is Cranston, Rhode Island, Pontiac Avenue, where we have an armed standoff. Barricaded male, apparently with a rifle. It is unconfirmed. We've heard possibly there was a shot fired, but we don't know. You can see some activity outside of the house right now. Pontiac Avenue is... They're saying this is the Cranston police. Come out with your hands up now.
folks again this is where they have us back thank you for all the stars on the Saturday they're watching this is the uh, 244 Saturday afternoon live arm standoff Pontiac Avenue or off Pontiac Avenue in Cranston make sure you're following the page you can also click the like button This is a live look right now, Cranston Pontiac Avenue, where there is an armed standoff with a barricaded male, apparently with a rifle. Pontiac Avenue is closed. We have live stream coverage on the Facebook page, John DePietro Show. But right now, this is a live look, Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. An armed standoff, a suicidal male barricaded right on Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. You can see where that restaurant is. Right next, right down from Aldi, right down from PJ's Pub. And we have a barricaded male right now. You can watch our live stream coverage on our Facebook page, John DePietro Show. Whoa. Yard sale. You can hear something. All right. Hey, can you lower your voice? All right. They're shooting off something. Fucking people yapping. You can hear that? Hey, lower. That's why you can't talk with the locals. Jesus Christ. Hey, guys, please fucking lower your voices. Hey, guys. Are you see police right now? Right outside the residence. Right now you see some more activity in front of the house. You guys. Are you? We see a lot of activity right now. The police just shot out the window, second floor window. Six rounds, bean bags.
right, that is police shooting out. I may have to move. I can't stand these fucking degenerates that show up on the scene. Stop talking so loudly. You can't talk to them. The guy from Channel 10 made a mistake and he started talking to them. You can't talk to them. Because then they don't leave and they just start talking louder and louder. You can't talk to them. Shut up. See, now they have an audience. We're going to try to move. Folks, again, you're watching. Thank you for the stars on this Saturday afternoon. One dropped everything, got here. First one on the scene, arm standoff. We're going to get on the move here. I'm going to try to get a better angle. Plus, I can't stand these degenerates. Bear with me. All right, we're going to walk. I'm moving. Are you rolling? Are you rolling? No. no. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Everybody, bear with me. Hold on, everybody.
the left side? Yeah. Right. Oh. See where the car goes over? Right here on the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That last window. They should please put about six rounds into it. Six rounds. Okay. All right, folks. Now, we, we cannot see police from here, but you're saying this. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm wired. I'm wired. No. I'm sorry, you're on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Should I walk with you? Okay. Of course, you can see the police right on the left-hand side. Right behind that dumpster. Yeah, right here? Right there. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He was on those steps. He shot the windows off from those steps. You're kidding. On the steps? Okay. So that's the house, right? Did you hear the on the microphone? Yeah. Ring from all the All right, folks, again, you're watching. They have a really good, good job. Michael Blah. Yeah. You can see the car door. Much better shot. Folks, you have a better shot than anybody. Yeah, when they shot it, right? Okay. Hold on. Let's watch. Folks, now I just want everyone to understand, share that you're watching. We have police to the right side and police to the left side. This is a direct view of the home. And you can even see police right down there. Please. Just coming up on three o'clock in the east. This is a live arm standoff. Pontiac Avenue, Cranston. I'll be back. I gotta go the Okay, okay. Folks, one on the scene. Had a suicidal needle with a rifle in that hall. You can share that you are watching. Type in someone's name that should notify them. Again, this is Cranston, Pontiac Avenue. Pontiac Avenue is shut down, which is why you don't see any traffic. If you are enjoying our live stream on the scene coverage, you can send stars. That helps us with our coverage. Maybe you could be first time. If you're first time, you want to want to um, make sure you're following the page. It's just coming up on three o'clock in the east. Now I want to show you that we have Cranston Police right behind that dumpster. Mine claims they shot some bean bags on the right side of the building. You can see the car door open right there to the vehicle in the driveway. They had the loudspeaker going. Now unconfirmed on whether or not if there was a gunshot. Unconfirmed a single gunshot. 
I could walk in a moment and I'm going to show you what's on the right side of this house. Now, right now in this shot, you cannot see police activity, but I assure you the police are have this house surrounded and you also don't hear the bullhorn. Barric barricaded me with a gun, possible shot fired. Original call was a suicidal man with a gun, said he was going to kill himself, and the girlfriend called the police. I want to show you, I'm going to show you what's on the, to the right side. So we're looking straight. I want to show you what's to the right side of this house. Here we have Cranston Police Hall right here. See them, they're all gathered right there. So they're in the back of the house. They're in the back of the house, you can hear that. show you again where the police are on the other side. going to stay right on the house though.
Okay, not saying much on the radio anymore. quiet. Looks again, you're all looking live. This house, right? They're shooting. You can hear them shooting less lethal bean bags into the home. That is the police that are shooting them. Less lethal rounds fired in the second floor rear bedroom. Again, right now, 308, I want to thank our moderators, Ann and Robin. Juan on the scene, Saturday afternoon, and you're watching. This is uh, our live coverage. This is an armed standoff right now, Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. This house is surrounded. By the Cranston police. Call came in for a suicidal mail. Thank you for the stars, folks, on the Saturday. What is unknown. Now, it's my understanding there's a lot of activity in the back of the house. I want to thank Jonathan Barrett. I see Amanda. Who else do I see? Our star senders. Paula, thank you to Paula. Valued member of Team Warren, Gary La Laravi, Lisa, thank you, Amanda, Michelle, Nancy McCormick, thank you, Renee Cook likes the F-bombs, Jessica and Brenda. All right, let's watch what's happening. Yeah, I can hear some chatter out there. I believe he's in the rear of the residence. And I know, folks, it's difficult because you're not seeing any police activity, but I assure you, this house is surrounded. They've not had any radio chatter. David tells me they moved to another channel, which would make sense. So they're shooting in less lethal rounds. Granted, we cannot see the back of the residence. You can't see the back of the residence. Folks, another hour and 10 minutes will be 420. 
Boy Charles. All right, 657. Again, this house is surrounded. If they do the, the loudspeaker again, we'll really hear it from where we are right now. Now, I can hear police voices, but right now in your photo, in the picture, you don't see anyone. But it's my understanding there's a lot of activity behind this house. So type in where you're watching from and remember if you know someone who lives in Cranston definitely type in the name or share it to them this is an armed standoff with Cranston police and a barricaded suspect oh, you can see them see that they're shooting more non-lethal weapons uh, Carmine thinks it's beanbags into the house. You just see it on the right side of your screen where the car door is. Oh, wow, okay. That was the drone that crashed on a beanbag. Oh, okay. Thank you, Chris. The drone crashed? They were going to enter through the window with the drone to go inside the residence, but it hit the window frame. Boy, Chris Palmer, valued member of Team One. They're yelling at somebody. Folks, this is the house. 705, we're almost at 7,000 stars. Folks, again, you're watching our live coverage. We have an armed standoff in Cranston. I want to tell you when this started. Uh, let me just double check here. 
again folks for all these new people make sure you're following the page I want to thank Nicole One twenty-five. This started at one twenty-five, and I'm very, we were first, first one on the scene. You're looking at an arm standoff, Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. A suicidal male has barricaded himself in his apartment, apparently with a rifle, and it's my understanding the girlfriend called police. Police have this house surrounded. What you're looking at, that is, there is no traffic on Pontiac Avenue. Police have stopped it. It is closed. Very quiet. And what we are, we're not going to speculate as to uh, what's happening at the moment. We're just going to watch. We're live right now. Do you need to throw that? No, no, you can do it. No, no, I can put it to the side. I can put it to the side. Here, no, no, no. go ahead. Yeah. Quite all right.
Again, you're looking live. We have an armed standoff. Cranston, Rhode Island. We have a suspect who was barricaded into that home. This is Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. Again, you can share that you are watching right now. You're watching this. We are uh, Facebook Live, John DePietro Show, and now we just went live on TikTok as well. The TikTok crowd are welcome to join the live stream feed on our Facebook page. But what you're looking at right now, we have a barricaded suspect. Now, the view you're looking at right now, there are Cranston police have surrounded this house. Pontiac Avenue. There's a male subject inside with a rifle. It's unconfirmed there was possibly a shot. They have the house surrounded. This has been going on for two hours now. Suicidal male barricaded Pontiac Avenue, Cranston, Rhode Island. Police have been calling out for the suspect to come out, hands up. They have fired in what they call bean bags. They were also attempting to get a drone in there. Now what we can't see is the back of this residence, the back of the residence where there are police there as well. Now what you're looking at right now, you can see there's no traffic. This is normally somewhat busy street, but police have it blocked off. There are police to the left that you can't see. There are police to the right that you can't see. This is the residence. I don't know about that. It's a second floor apartment. Police are to the left and the right. You can't see them. I know it seems quiet. Earlier they were calling for the suspect to come out and then they were attempting to get a drone inside the residence. They actually have drones now that they can send into a structure that can then give them, the, give them an idea of exactly what's the situation like inside the residence. Or any structure, I should say. We know that there was a, a suicidal male with a rifle. His girlfriend called the police. It is unconfirmed whether or not there's been a shot. You can see that car door open. You can see, I don't know exactly what what's the nature of why that door is open, but police have been firing non-lethal beanbags into that side of the home. Again, this is Pontiac Avenue in Cranston. And again, everyone on TikTok, we're gonna be, um, we're just doing this as a heads up. You can really, you can see some police activity right to that dumpster to the left. On the left side of your screen you can see police activity. Those on TikTok can uh, follow. I'll type in the address. do that. I'd like to try to get this done peacefully.
Thank you, Aaron B. The police are to the left and to the right. Again, if you're watching right now on TikTok, you can join us on Facebook, John DePietro Show on Facebook. Okay, just 327. You're watching our live stream coverage. This is Pontiac Avenue. Okay, in Cranston. We have an armed standoff. Suicidal male inside this home. Reportedly with a rifle. It's very possible there was one shot earlier. You can read into that whatever you like. I also just want to remind people, you know, we, we can't see what's happening in the back of this home. In the back of the home. Now, we have not had we haven't heard them on the bullhorn. They haven't shot anything else in. This house right now, as you're looking at, at 3.30 on this Saturday, is surrounded. Pontiac Avenue, Cranston Arms Standoff. Remember, if you're watching right now, you can share that you're watching, especially if you know someone in Cranston. Want to, um, Type in their name, which should notify them, their Facebook account. We were first one on the scene. Make sure you're following the page. And as always, folks, if you like the raw, live, on-scene coverage, you can send stars to support our efforts. We have our moderators, David and Ian and Robin. This has been going on for two hours now. Now, you can't see, but there are Cranston police on the right side that I've shown and also on the left side. But the element of this view is, at some point, either that individual is going to come out of the house or the police are going to enter the home. And so we'll be able to capture it. Earlier, we were at a different angle that you could see all the police activity kept us at a distance. 
I want to thank Carmine that led the Chosen One to this location. Now, right now it seems very quiet. 3.32. Let's see what happens in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Earlier I walked over to the right and showed you Transom Police are set up in the house to the right side of this one and they're also in the back. You can't see it, but I assure you they're there. Again, Cranston Police reports of a man barricaded in this home with a gun. Oh, good. Thank you, Aaron. We're going to stay right here because if something dramatic happens, it's happening coming right from here.
All right, 338. All right, you see police going in. See this? They're gonna go in. They went to the back. So that was different. That was movement. You just saw Cranston police with a shield go to the back. Now right now it's 3.40. I think... in the next 20 minutes something is going to give here. Now we can't see the back. Very possible that they're going to enter through the back of this uh, home residence. Looks like a two-story apartment. It could be third. It could be a, a unit on the third floor. Thank you for the stars on this Saturday, folks, again, bringing this live stream, unfiltered, uncensored coverage. And just to be clear again, we, we cannot obviously see what's going in the back of this residence. But I think that's the first time we've seen police going towards the residence or going in. I don't know if went in. Definitely just saw them on the side. Now at 3.42, as you're watching on on the scene live stream coverage one on the scene this is surely a guess i think we're going to have resolution here between now and four o'clock it's just purely a guess on my part make sure you're following the page thank you for everyone that has sent stars right now we're at 652 Certainly could get closer to 700. If you do like live on the scene 
unfiltered, uncensored coverage. I know it's impossible to thank me, but I think we just heard something in the back. You could send 250 stars, 300 stars. Who said 500? Probably Anthony Santos. All right, this is Pontiac Avenue, Cranston. We've had an armed standoff here. It's been going on for a little over two hours. But we did just see Cranston police making their way around that car on your right. And they seem to be going into the back of this um, home. But it seems to be at least a two-story apartment, but it's very possible it's a unit on the third floor as well. I want to repeat, it is unconfirmed. There may have been a single shot earlier. Right here on Pontiac. May have been a single shot earlier. So type in where you are watching from. We get people from all over again right now at 345 on this Saturday. You're looking, this is live, Pontiac Avenue, Cranston, Rhode Island. We have an armed standoff with the Cranston police. Individual reportedly suicidal barricaded in this home with a rifle. Can hear the police. They have had this house surrounded. They have been uh, calling for the individual. I think Carmine said his first name was Wayne to come out and surrender. Just a short time ago, we did see some Cranston police seem to be, they were right by that car and went to the back of the home. Thank you for the stars, everybody, on this Saturday. I also just want you to understand this. Obviously, we had to do a drop and go. I want to thank uh, Nicole that tipped me off on it. I was having a nice conversation with Jim at the Coesed Inn. I dropped everything, booked over here. We were first one on the scene. We were at another angle, but... They had us back, which I can understand. I want to thank Carmine, a valued member of Team One, that said I can find you a better angle. Now again, we can't tell what's going on in the back of the home. Cannot. We have our moderators. I want to thank Robin and Ann and David. Those that were watching, I, I was still tired this morning from our uh, road patrol with the fugitive last night in Warwick. But we are back in action on this Saturday. They're shooting things into the window again, I think. Catches you, though.
Now what we don't have not seen is Cranston does have a bear cat. Okay. Three tenants listed at the house. Thank you, Carmine. One of them is Wayne. We're going to reserve the last name for now. Now, folks, you can hear the, those. We believe that those are the police shooting, shooting things into the windows. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to stay right here. Okay, so that was interesting. They did not go, obviously, into the house, but they went by the house. They could be trying to figure out, I don't want to speculate, they could be trying to figure out the best way to, best angle to breach the house. No idea about other tenants.
3.53, Saturday afternoon, Pontiac Avenue, this house is surrounded, armed standoff with Cranston Police in Cranston, Rhode Island. You're watching our live on the scene, one on the scene coverage. Barricaded suspect. To my understanding, the call came in suicidal male with a rifle. There is, uh, there was a report that someone may have heard a single gunshot. David reports the fire department's going to report to the north side of this uh, scene. Now, they are definitely on the south side of this. So, if you're looking at this, north is to the right, south is to the left. Combine's back. Wow, folks, two days in a row. Remember when we're out, it's road patrol, but when we report directly to a scene, it's one on the scene. Thank you for the stars, everyone, as we approach. Whoop. Okay, here comes. Well, you just saw the fire truck go by. You're seeing the parking front of the house. Or two emergency vehicles. There's another. Fire vehicle, I believe. Who's that? Fucking A. They're gonna tell him to get back. Listen, I don't want him to. Uh, I don't want him to ruin. Tell him, police are saying to get back. Look at look at him, Carmine. Get him. Do you have another one of those? <laughs> no. Okay, hold on. Let's watch though. I don't want to miss anything. All right, 358. Interrupt him, he was going to get. Okay. Alright, folks, let's. Alright, they're moving in position. We don't want to miss anything.
come I tell them I have won t-shirts for them I'll get them they're in my car when this is done oh, folks we're approaching four o'clock oh man Hold on. Hey, thanks. Hold on. No talking on the set. Whisper only. One runs a tight ship. All right, folks. Now, as you can see, we're approaching 4 o'clock. I was wrong. Something's going on, though. They're moving the vehicles in place. Thank you for the stars on this Saturday. Again, as we're approaching 800 live, I believe this is going to come to a conclusion. I thought by 4 o'clock. I don't know. So close to 10,000 stars. <laughs> right, the numbers climb. I think this thing is, I think they're going to wrap it up in the next 30 minutes. I, I said that at the 3.30, but. I want everyone to also realize whatever I had planned today is obviously out the window. This portion of the Arm standoff is brought to you by Barrett's Towing. If you need to get... Oh, all right, that was loud. They just uh, shot through another window. All right, they're shooting out all the windows. Somebody's yelling. Folks, get ready. They're going to be going in. <coughs> Combine says they're going in. Thank you for the stars. Here we go. All right, they should be entering your screen, our screen, any moment. 
構え構え Tell me when they're coming this way. Okay. Alright, they are suiting up. And you're gonna watch it live right here. I think they're gonna have to enter the house. 404 Pontiac Avenue, Cranston, Rhode Island. One on the scene. Armed standoff with Cranston police. Suicidal male with a rifle is in that residence. Come on. Get him. You tap him. Tap him. Are they moving yet? No? <laughs> What's that? They're putting the mask on. Okay. All right. Well, they're getting ready to go in. <clears throat> Folks, we got 826. Remember, Shia, that you were watching. You're going to watch this unfurl. supposed to be over there telling me when they're coming. Oh, they're going through the back. Okay. All right, well, we're going to keep it right here. Thank you, folks. Folks, everyone watching right now, we're at 835. Everyone did 200 stars. We'll get closer to our April goal. Unfiltered, uncensored, in danger, on the scene coverage. You don't get this with print. You don't get this with radio. We are the third TV station. Right. <clears throat> Are they gearing up over there? Oh, they already went through the back. Okay. Right now it's 4.08. We're going to have action momentarily here. And folks, as soon as it, we get the okay, we're going straight and going to bring you right to that residence. We can hit 900. <clears throat> we were live on Instagram. We were live on TikTok. We could go live on YouTube. But we're staying right here. 408. <sighs> Last night, road patrol was three hours. We're now going on over two hours here. Mm -hmm. 
and then um, when we get the okay, I'm going to walk over it and then you can see where they shot out the windows on the right side of this residence. So we believe the police have gone in through the back. Big shout out, Aaron Brown, fantastic job last night. Now it's quiet. Four thirteen.
Oh, okay. Oh, they're getting the battering ram, Carmine Sam. <clears throat> Is it over there? Carmine. Is it over there? Oh, okay. I want everyone to understand that I, I am in a, it's not like I can uh, maneuver around here. If I go out, you can't go out straight because the police were all out there. Um, so we're kind of stuck back there. I, I, I recognize that there could be some action on the back of the home, but I'm just not sure how we could get there without missing anything. I think I can hear. Thank you again for the stars, folks, on this uh, Saturday. It's your way to say, hey, I like this one on the scene coverage. Live, uncensored, unfiltered, raw as it's happening. This is an armed standoff on Pontiac Avenue. Cranston police are attempting to reach this individual inside this home. The reason you don't see any traffic is the street is blocked off. You can't see them, but as I said earlier, there's police on the left side, the right side, the entire area is surrounded. Carmine, the question is, is there any other way that we could get a shot to the back of the house. I don't know. Four seventeen. Yeah. They made entry. They made entry? Yeah. You're saying deceased inside? Okay.
All right, folks, you can see. All right, it looks like we've had a situation. Okay, now look at the way they are in front. Okay, look at the way they're all come. What's that? Okay, okay. All right, folks, look at. That's Todd Padalano, the commander. Now, Carmine, what are you hearing? He's deceased inside. Yeah. That's Commander Padalano. Okay. All right, so they made entry. Folks, thank you for the stars, everybody. You can see them talking in front. We're gonna walk to the front in just a moment. That's Commander Padalano. Is that a, is that the Colonel, Colonel Lindquist? I can't tell. Is no, Commander, no, no. okay. That's okay. Folks, thank you for the stars. If you've liked our live stream coverage, we're gonna let them, uh, so we believe Oh, you see them up on the second floor. They were in the house. Oh, okay. With all the uh, smoke, smoke bombs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Folks, again, we can report that apparently they've made entry, and the subject is DOA. Folks, right now, eight fifty-three. Make sure we're going to walk in just a moment. To the front as soon as we get the okay. So they're gonna they. So they're gonna they. They need to do it out. Okay. Oh wow. No. When will they go in to take the body out? No. When will they go in to take the body out? Okay. I'll medical examiner. Yeah. All right, folks, there you see Cranston, please. Thank you, everybody. Again, make sure you're following the page. If you have enjoyed our on-the-scene live stream coverage, you can uh, send stars. That's that keeps us in motion. Again, Pontiac Avenue, from what we understand, we see the Cranston police. That's Commander Padalano. And from what we understand, they entered this residence and the suspect was DOA. That's so, Lieutenant, that's the day Lieutenant over there. Okay. So I think we had heard there was talk that there was a single gunshot wound, so that he may have done it then. Okay. Folks, you see there's Commander Padalano on the scene and Cranston firefighters. When do you think it'd be okay that we could walk out there? Not just yet. It's, I mean, it's safe. I just want to shoot to show everybody where the windows are blown out. Yeah, I'd go out there now. Yeah? Yeah. It's safe. Them. It is safe. Although they are going to have to, uh, I think they're going to have to, won't they have to map it off? They could take the, the victim out. Well, it, en it ended peacefully, but it would certainly seem it was the second floor apartment. I'd like to show those windows that got shot out.
I mean, I think it'd be safer if we stayed on this side of the street, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go up that one. All right, folks, we're in motion. Thank you, everybody. Everyone's very generous today. Again, you've been watching our live coverage. My Goomba's with me. Are you ready to come with me to Cranston Street? For oh, Wanda? yeah, yeah. Did you tell them. All tell right. Them we are going to do that. All right. No, no, no. I'm done with that. I'm going to come back to this house. I'm going to take off. Are you? Yeah, i got to okay. head back home. Oh, hold on. Let me, um, hold on. I can shorten this. It's easy to carry. You're safe. You think so? Safe, huh? <laughs> okay. oh. oh, there you are. All right, folks, here's a good shot. You can see the scene that they've had established here. There's Command of Padalano. Folks, here's where you can see Pontiac has been all blocked off. See all the first responders. And you can see there's the side of the house. Pontiac is still blocked off. I would imagine they're gonna get this back opened up. There's the commander. Let's see that. You could see the side of the house with the second floor. See they were they were shooting in the uh, the bean bags, uh, non-lethal. All right, big message here. Uh, it is a safe situation. Um, it's our understanding that um, when they did get inside, that the suspect was DOA. You can see Pontiac is still blocked off. Folks, right up ahead, there's PJ's Pub on the right-hand side, then Aldi on the left. Here, see all the Cranston, uh, Cranston police. That's the residence. What an afternoon in Cranston, everybody. We are so close to 12,000 stars. Here's Commander Patalano. You can see they all got, obviously, all the tactical gear ready. You can see Cranston SWAT. Look how far back um, that it's um, been blocked off. So we did have a report early. I had heard that they, someone believed they heard a single gunshot. So that certainly sounds like that's what happened. But you can see all the uh, aftermath. The folks, as you can tell, we're the only media that's right here. We're first one on scene. If you like the uh, unfiltered, uncensored, on the scene, one on the scene live coverage, there's, uh, I believe that's Captain Carnavali. So you can uh, make sure you can also subscribe to the page. Wow, the sun's coming out. And support our on the scene efforts. So there's the second floor. You can see they're earing it out. I said they, I think they shot gas into there. See how that window actually, as I see it on the second floor is blown out. I wanna thank our moderators, Ann and Robin and David. Again, you've been watching our on the scene, one on the scene coverage folks. 
Cranston arm standoff. Unfortunately, it would seem that the uh, suspect ended up taking their own life. You can see the windows blown out right there on the front as well. Oh. I think, oh, you can hear somebody crying. That could be the girlfriend. Oh, wow. No, oh, no, I'm over here. I'm over here. Okay. It's, go. I have it right here. Are you kidding me? Come on. Please go. I'm right there. I understood. Go. Understood. All right, we'll go into the back. I'm going to come back and see you guys. All right, folks, with that, we are going to conclude our broadcast. I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. I want to thank our moderators. Very sensitive situation. Folks, you've been watching the arm standoff here in Cranston.